Welcome back to the Hunter of Dividends YouTube channel. We're here on a big down day on the stock market. As I record this here, the Dow down 1,224 points, the NASDAQ down 701 points. Some pretty serious damage here to the stock market after the Fed raised rates half a percent yesterday. There was a relief rally, um, and now stocks have turned back around. You see the NASDAQ uh, one month chart pretty ugly, six month even worse. Uh, the SP 500 down about 4%. Big drops here. I know a lot of people are kind of uh, panicking. Uh, they always say, uh, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are feel fearful. Uh, Warren Buffett's a smarter investor than, than myself. And uh, I think we need to try to look at uh, quality names while the stock market is giving us these discounts because we know that uh, these discounts don't always come around that often. So I want to take a look at VF Corporation here today, ticker symbol VFC. This is one where I believe VF has sold off to a point where it's a, it's a solid value play here. Um, 49.27, the price point now, it's just dipped here even more in the last few minutes. VF over the last month has gone down just in the last couple of weeks from about 58 to 49 in the last six months. It's gone from 77 down to 49, a significant drop here. VF uh, is out of favor right now. Um, let's take a look at some of my notes here on VF. Uh, they're a large retailer, a bunch of top brands, North Face, Vans, Jansport, Supreme, many more. Uh, that Supreme acquisition is a big catalyst for the stock going forward. It has caused uh, there to be some higher debt. Uh, VF Corporation has been really out of favor, but long-term dividend investors like myself can really appreciate getting quality names when they're out of favor and on sale. I believe that's the case here with VF Corporation. The current yield, 4.04%. It's very rare to see a retailer like this uh, yielding over 4%. The Simply Safe Dividend Safety Score is 80. Uh, very good uh, safety score there from Simply Safe Dividends, which I love that website. I always uh, promote that whenever I get a chance because they do great work over there. The five-year CAGR is 5%. The five-year average PE for VF Corp is 23. Today's PE ratio is 13.9. So this one's trading at a steep discount to what it usually has been. The payout ratio is 69%. Free cash flow payout ratio is 73%. Consecutive dividend increases for 49 years, almost a dividend king. I do want to say that the payout ratio at 69% and the free cash flow payout ratio at 73% makes me think that this stock can't continue to increase their dividend very much. And I think this uh, 5% CAGR will probably even slow down more. So this is not really a big dividend growth name, but it is going to pay a solid dividend. I think the stock is undervalued too. Uh, CFRA rates the stock as a strong buy, has a 52-week Target of eighty dollars. I think that target's probably too high, uh, but you know, at forty nine forty, forty nine twenty four, as I as I uh, record this, and it moves right now on the stock market in the forty nines. I think this is a good long term buy. Uh, the knock on this stock is certainly that uh, the debt that it carries could be a problem, and the fact that it does have this debt is why I won't make this a large position. Uh, still, I think this is a long term winner with great brands. Uh, and a dividend yield of more than 4%. Let's take a look here at Simply Safe Dividends numbers quickly for VF Corporation. As I said, the safety score 80. Um, the most recent dividend growth was only 2%. I think we should probably get used to something like this. This is a very big company, uh, $20.2 billion market cap. Um, apparel, this is one where the payout ratio has really bounced around uh, as they've kind of uh, had more debt issues and the cash flow has been lower and higher year by year. This is not an uh, earnings per share picture that is terribly consistent. I will say that the earnings per share dipped largely because of COVID there. That certainly didn't help them at all. Uh, earnings per share growth is off because of that. So uh, I think that this is one where the return on equity has been solid year after year. Return on invested uh, capital makes me think that the management does know what they're doing here. 
free cash flow margin has been consistently far above the 5%. Uh, that's simply safe dividends preference for this type of company. The net debt is higher than I would like to see it. So here, here's the knock on the company. They do have decent interest coverage, but VF Corp trading at 49, uh, 49.24 right now, right at its 52-week low, as, as I'm saying this. So uh, VF, I think, is a good buy at this point. I'm not a financial advisor, so I would suggest everyone look into this on your own, see if it fits your needs for your portfolio. But this is a new ad for me. I just purchased VF Corporation today. So full disclosure, I did buy this. Not a large position for me yet. But VF Corporation, one of my buys here as the stock market goes down. Follow me on Twitter at Hunt Dividends. Subscribe to this channel. Give this a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, leave comments below. Do you like VF? Do you not like VF? Why or why not? Also, if you have any suggestions of other stocks for me to cover, I'd be happy to do a, a dividend stock analysis on any company, just drop those in the comments below. Uh, appreciate the whole community of dividend investors as we try to build those portfolios and, and uh, seek that passive income that uh, leads us to freedom in the long term. So everybody have a great week. Uh, try to find some stocks that are on sale.